Yo guys, we are back for another week of Kaitikyo Hitman Reborn. I do want to say I might change up the schedule on how I do the videos for Kaitikyo um, due to, you know, work life and everything, personal life. So, and then tomorrow is the first episode of one of the shows that I am going to be reacting to. So, um, I'm going to see how that's going to go and moving forward with the reviews for Kaitikyo. Um, but for the time being, we're doing it today on Thursday. But after this week, then, um, it's either it's going to stay on the same Friday or I might move it up. But I'll have to see how it goes. Okay, so we are at chapter 99 and we're one chapter away from the three digit numbers. Okay, and with this chapter going from chapter 98, obviously the match with uh, Lambo versus Levy obviously was over because Suna did intervene he managed to melt he went into hyper dying will mode and he melted the conductor the wires that conduct the heat that um that emits through the rods and he melted it from there and it was so hot so strong enough that it caused the rods to fall down um disrupting the match and obviously causing damage to the arena Okay, and everybody's wondering where did this big flame from come from? Obviously, Squallow is the most shocked by this because remember the first time he faced up against Suna when this whole ordeal happened, Suna was just in regular dying will form. Now he sees a completely different Suna who was more calm, conducted, very uh, sure of himself. He's facing a new version of Suna, the hyper version. Okay, so Suna goes on to saying that I can't go on with this match if it means the loss of my friends which hits everybody okay because to watch a match obviously they won the first one but to watch a match where there was no possible way for a five-year-old to go up against i don't know a 20 whatever age and possibly win and to know that he was about to be skewered we were going to have cow on a stick like bro <laughs> okay, I'm sorry if I put that image in your head, but the fact that he was about to watch quite literally him and everybody else at the school was about to watch Lambo lose his life and then being told that he he and no one else can interfere because if they do, they lose their rings for that match, right? That didn't sit well with him. And you know, he comes out, out of hyper dying Wilmo saying, you know, like, this just isn't right. I, I won't become a boss if this means, you know, losing my friends. I can't, I can't afford this. Then he hears a sound. He hears someone, you know, mocking him and everything. Then he turns his head and immediately he gets punched and Zanzis has made an appearance. Okay, more than likely Zanzis was a ways off watching everything going down on, and until it got to the point where Suna intervened that's when he decided to show his presence okay and he's here and he's mocking everything he's looking at Suna and then he says he now he kind of understands why his father who he refers to as fart oh fart kind of disrespectful for the man that is your boss at the end of the day um he understands why the ninth is so interested in Suna more than likely either do their power or their personality how they conduct themselves and towards their men it doesn't matter he sees a similarity okay and it makes it all the more interesting unfortunately we have where one of the Torvelo girls tried to tell Zanzas if he intervenes and might might I add Zanzas was about to go kill Suna right then and there Okay, he was ready. He was, you know, you can't really tell. It probably looks a little murky by the panel, but if you saw in the anime, he was about to conduct his flame in his hand and then blast Suna. And mind you, Suna just came out of hyper dying will mode. So it'd be like, um, Reborn, you're gonna have to load another bullet and shoot Suna again. He decides to shoot her and more than likely she died. I think she died. I, I think that's a girl girl did die. Okay. And, you know, rest in peace. Rest in peace. There are many more of you, but rest in peace. So, unfortunately, as everybody knows, due to the fact that Suna did interfere, and there's like, it's not fair, but Suna did damage the arena, okay? 
if he was to take Lambo out without no damage, possibly wouldn't be so bad. But the fact that he jumped in and kind of damaged the place or broke down part of it, um, automatically Lambo lost match. On top of that, Suna also lost his ring. Because like they said, the Cervello said, we are the rules. We are the law. We said, if you interfere in any of these matches whatsoever, you will lose your ring. So Suna, on top of Lambo, both lost the lightning ring and the sky ring. The sky ring signifying that you are to inherit the Vongola. You are indeed the boss of the Vongola. So they gave the half ring, sky ring to Zanzis. And he's like, it's only befitting that it's given to someone who's more fit. Okay. And now soon and everybody's terrified because you would have thought, oh, now it's over because he got the sky ring. So him automatically getting the ultimate win means Suna's entire team lost. But surprisingly, Zanzis was merciful. And he's like, because you interest me so much, because you're just like the ninth, why he calls him far, but I'm gonna just, you know, put the respect on the ninth's name. Because you're so interesting, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna allow you to continue with these matches with the scramble battle, okay? And whoever wins by the majority will get all the rings on top of the sky ring. Mind you, he also was mocking Bo Imitsu and reborn saying that like you know something may have happened he should have put more faith in all that stuff in you like i see what happened but who he, he he was basically saying he was alluding that he did something to the knight which automatically set imitsu and reborn on the offensive and it's kind of funny because as imitsu is yelling and ready to go and attack uh zons we have where reborn is telling him to calm down but then he's like you telling me to calm down you better put that gun put that gun away okay we would have had reborn shooting after zons because at the end of the day reborn respects the ninth the ninth sent reborn to train soon to become the ten, the future 10 generation so obviously both of them have a level of respect for each other and of course as well as Imitsu because he's the advisor. He's basically second in command. So to know that his boss, something potentially may have happened to him, set both him and Reborn off. So what happens is Zanza's got the ring and he declares that the matches aren't going to go on. Um, and then he walks away. He doesn't take Levy's ring. He's like, the next time you embarrass yourself like this, then Levy finishes off saying, I will, I will delete myself, okay? And you can clearly tell the difference in this chapter alone. The leadership and how close when it comes to Suna and his group and Zanzas of his group. So what Reborn does is he tells him is you fly immediately to Italy to see what's going on with the nine, what's what's happening. And he's like, you know, Imitsu is telling Reborn, you know, I'm sorry, but I have to go make sure to take care of Suna and the others. Reborn, it, it, it was kind of shady to me. <laughs> it was kind of shady. He's like, don't worry, I know them a little, I know them a lot better than you do. Oh my gosh, dang. You know what? Reborn may have a point because Imitsu was in and out of Suna's life, so him being with Suna for several months. Shady, but it's kind of true. Shady, but kind of true, okay? So that happens, and they do announce the third. Yes, this is the third battle now, and it's going to be the battle for the Storm Rings. So it's the battle of Gokudera and Zanzas did say his name in this chapter, Bell. The guy with the long fridge and he has like a little uh, tiara crown on his head with a wicked smile. That's the third match. Unfortunately, we see where Gokudera, like Yamamoto and Ryohei is cheering on uh, Gokudera because they know like, yo, he's strong, he's strategic, he can get this. But is clearly showing in, in Gokudera's head. He's like, I'm actually worried about this match because he still has yet to perfect the technique that Dr. Shmuel had showed him to do many years ago. He's still having trouble. Mind you, they did say like, you know, five days later, Suna was able to go into Hyper Dying Will and obviously we can clearly see there's no after effect. He's comfortable. It's like 
second flush to him and everything it's not like the first time when he went into it and then his body went through ex excruciating pain okay completely different squall realized that suna was completely different from five days prior when they first met so everybody's going home feeling down because they only got one win and two losses so that means they can't afford with this third match going forward they can't even afford one loss because if that happens It'll be three, what, three wins, four losses, and then obviously Zanzas will win. And that means Suna and everyone he cares for, because Zanzas said it himself, I will end everyone that you care for. Everyone that you hold dear to you will, will uh, cease to exist. He made it known to Suna, okay? Might I add, he also laughed, and they say, yo, they on his side, they were actually um, shocked because it was the first time that Zonzis has laughed in eight years. This is how much Suna is um, exciting him. Like, finally, I can see why the ninth is putting so much emphasis on you becoming the next head, despite what you're displaying. You know, he finds Suna to be very amusing. But at the end of the day, he feels like, I'm going to win, and you're the one who's going to be six feet under okay so after that devastating loss and everything that's going down as, as long as slam bills okay that's good um they're walking home and suna is kind of berating himself saying i wonder if i should have intervened um if i didn't we wouldn't have lost none of this would have happened and reborn reassures suna saying that you did the right thing the vongola does not need men does not need a leader who will abandon his men. Now, when I said the you know the differences between both Suna and Zanzis in terms of their groups, Zanzis, remember at the end of the day, is part of Davaria. So for Davaria, everything must be completed at 100%. Everything must be perfect, okay? And for Zanzis, who wants to climb the ladder to become boss, if it means sacrificing his own people, his own group to get to that position, he will willingly do it, and it will be not it will be off, nothing off his shoulders. Okay, he doesn't value them as much. Versus Suna, who at the end of the day doesn't want to become Vongola boss. This was a fate thrusted upon him, and he had no choice but to accept it because if he didn't, he would have been killed. Okay, it's not like he chose this path, but because he's now on this path. The most he can do is want to protect those who are close to him. And on top of that, given the fact that Reborn, despite being a hitman and everything, loyalty. Loyalty is key in the Mafia. Okay, at the end of the day, Mafia is all about despite the blood, despite the money problems, despite people, you know, especially people backstab you and everything that's an immediate red flag within the mafia everybody has to be close-knit so for reborn to say that um despite all the horrendous things that the mafia will do for one thing for sure that's one good thing about the mafia is that like your own men shouldn't be stabbing you in the back your own men shouldn't be leaving you to die while you go doing your own thing okay you serve, you're supposed to protect your own, okay? So, and then you see, and not only that, what was most impressive was with Suna, when he first, when he, this is the second time he faced Zanzas, you can clearly tell Suna is growing little by little because the first time he met Zanzas, he was frozen and fair. The second time he met him, he made like a grimace. He's like, something, you know, something of that sort. Okay, so it clearly goes to show Suna is slowly but surely growing into the role of a leader. And not only that, he's growing a spine. Yes, in other circumstances, he still would be very skittish. He would get afraid. But if it, if the place calls for it, Suna is not someone that's going to easily back down. It's, it's these little things you see building up and it's not drastic but they slowly build as Suna grows as a character, okay? So that happens, and then we have where everybody went their separate ways, and eventually uh, Gokudera sees Dr. Shamal. He's drunk, 
but he's like i know that you have your match the next day so we're going to complete this technique we're going to perfect it tonight it ends off on that on the chapter with dr shamal telling uh Gokdera that they're going to perfect the the attack the technique that Gokudera needs to you know finish off the entire the entire technique and to ensure that he has a chance for his upcoming battle and that won't start until next chapter so with all that said okay again one win two losses on Suna's side he lost the sky ring so they have to practically win the next three matches in order to get the majority and to get all the rings and not face the consequences of if they lose one then it's over for soon it's it's literally over for him and might i add i forgot to add as well um there was a mysterious figure that appeared in the chapter um if you know you know don't spoil it but there was a mysterious figure uh they made their parents okay saying that Suna you're as naive as ever and so like keep it on the hush probably some of you may know but keep it on the hush hush and everything so um guys do tell me on how you felt about chapter 99 of Kaito Kyo Hitman Reborn what were some things you noticed particularly about Suna's character Zanzis what do you think he did that has Imitsu and Reborn in particular on edge and what are they going to discover once they see potentially what may have happened in Italy, okay? The links are in the description box. So you guys go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chandler of Anime Legends. And I will see you guys later. Bye!